Hi guys, welcome to an episode of Ebook Vlogs. I'm Gwen. And I'm Jia Hui. So it's the durian season now and it's about 7.15 am and we're about to hit the Johor Bahru for a day tour. Mm -hmm. Most durians are imported from Malaysia, but today we are going straight to the source, which is a durian farm in JB. So let's go! Two hours long journey we're finding here at Tangkap. So this place is actually a multi-generational family business serving a farm to table experience with a huge variety of durian, some we've never even seen before in Singapore. So let's go say hi. Hello Alright, so we just came back from a tour around the durian plantation and in his plantation, he has over 37 wow. different durian varieties. And today we'll be trying 10 different species and Kaizen will be explaining each of them to us. So we're gonna start from a milder tasting one to the stronger ones after that. Grab tail. Oh. Oh, wow. It's pretty it's, creamy. Yeah. It's very light tasting. Uh, and then when it goes to the back of the throat, it's actually quite bitter. Yeah, I've never tried such a light tasting durian yeah. before. The creamy part of the flesh is actually very little. It's basically, it has like a very thick membrane on the top and at the bottom But overall, it's very very light tasting I'm someone who prefer like richer durian taste So I'm not really a fan of this as well mm. It's a bit creamy, watery kind of like durian It's something that I wouldn't be able to find in Singapore like. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. I think you can try to identify this with the spike. It has the thinnest and the longest, also the spikiest exterior compared to other species. I feel like this is a bit sweeter than the previous one. Definitely. But at the same time, there's still this like bitter aftertaste. But it's not as strong as the previous one. This is slightly creamier as well. And it has a very very strong fragrance to it. I think it's enjoyable. Yeah. It's not too creamy. It tastes very familiar like the ones that we usually have in Singapore. But I don't think I've ever tried like 101 before. I think the thing that stands out most for this is the firm texture of it. So it holds itself together very well. I like this one. actually called the One Dot Red. So how the name came about was because during the first year of the produce, Kaite couldn't recognize this. So he just put a red dot there to tell himself like this is the specific one. And after that, the customers just kept coming in and said, I want this One Dot Red durian. So that's how the name came about. It's pretty cool. Wow. It's really creamy. This is a lot stronger. Actually, I thought it was a lot sweeter than bitter. The bitterness only come in a little bit towards the end. I do agree with Jiaohui that this is a bit more sweet, which I prefer. So it actually melts in your mouth, so it's easier to actually eat it and like chew it. I think so far among the three that we have tasted, this is my favourite one. But texture-wise, I would still prefer it to be slightly more firm so that there's more bite to it. So the next one we got is actually called Cashew Nut. The seed itself looks like a cashew nut according to Kai Jie. But the original name itself is called Tai Yuan. Apparently for cashew nut, about 4 to 5 hours after it drops from the tree, the flesh will turn purple colour. So I guess this is pretty fresh because it's far from purple. Yeah, right. It's way more premier than the previous ones. In terms of taste, I feel like it's quite similar to the one we had before. There's a very unique durian taste. When I first ate this, it's not like sweet, bitter. They're not the first taste that hit me, but rather it's, you know this white part here? The middle, the hard part? That's the taste of it. 
but a little bit sweeter and of course like it's softer and creamier so it's like the taste of this but the texture of a normal durian right, this is a bit more dry as compared to like the previous one actually just by looking at it, it was very pale so I assumed that it was gonna be like less sweet but according to Kaiser right, the brighter it is like it doesn't mean that it's very sweet lah Sorry, I think I need to scream first pouring outside but it's a perfect weather for like durian indoors yeah. just that to do this we have to shout can you guys hear me so the name comes from the fact that the, when you open it the flesh is a little bit curved like the way prawns are just before they are getting steamed this is a lot more yellow compared to the previous one yeah. it's something that i see quite often in like singapore Ooh. Yeah. I've had this in Singapore before so I'm not very surprised by how it tastes like but there's a difference between the Singapore one and the Malaysia one It actually tastes way fresher than the ones in Singapore It's also intensely bitter which um, yeah, Kaizen was just explaining about how we have this misconception that like bitter food does not have high sugar content but apparently the most bitter durian have the most sugar but whatever, it tastes good I have to say that this is way creamier than the other few that we tried Really very good This is my favourite definitely It's okay. very bitter the way I like it Very creamy Okay so the next one We actually heard of D24 before But this is D13 Even though she has debunked to the myth that Brighter colour doesn't mean it's sweeter But I can't help but I feel very excited Yeah okay, same this. Oh, Wow It's so creamy yes. right? I think it's a very well balanced between the bitter and the sweet In fact, this reminds me a lot of Mao Shan Wang Sweet, bitter, fragrant, very intense, very creamy right. But the seed is also very big, right. just like Mao Shan Wang So now we are finally trying the milk bottle which is unique to the farm here Because Kai Tia's father actually planted this, named this Yeah, so it's very very unique um, the reason why they name it milk bottle, number one is because they feel like the flesh tastes uh, very milky and secondly because the shape reminds them of the olden days milk bottle It starts harvesting at the start of the durian season and it can only be found in Tanka but you can taste a slight taste of milk, that's all Like a dessert, you know, it's not a very heavy thing Yeah, mm. it's very pleasant actually, I like it very much It tastes like a durian mousse for some reason Yeah, it's also very fibrous so they have a lot of this strand coming out It sticks to the seed so it's a little bit hard to bite it off The fruit itself is actually pretty small but the flesh is very thick The seeds are gigantic, a lot of flesh, a lot of meat And it's very pleasantly sweet like, I'm someone that likes my durian bitter sweet but this, I surprisingly enjoy it very much It's very unique in Singapore because suppliers tend to reject them due to its sizes and they think that it's not like ripe or it's not fresh but in actual fact, you know during our durian tour we actually tried the small one and it actually tastes good it tastes yeah. like ripe, fully ripe now we're going to try the big one instead compared to the rest, I feel like it's very firm as well like the membrane outside is very thick so it holds the flesh in right. yeah. like you can just peel off a nice chunk Honestly, this tastes like the same as the one we tried during the durian farm It's just pretty fresh It's not very creamy, honestly speaking Definitely not bitter, it's mildly sweet Okay, so like I only tried one but it's a bit dry on your throat here I don't think I can eat more than like one seed or two seeds For me, like the highlight is just very very fragrant Not so much of the bitterness or sweetness again is something that we are very familiar with which is the Mao Shan Wan Durian yeah, It's a beautiful one honestly Yeah like, You open it, whoa, the yellow is just it's pure bliss here yes. Oh, so yellow oh. and it's huge I feel like number one reason why I love Mao Shan Wan is because like the colour itself looks so appetising Wow Really taste it It's so <laughs> creamy It's them gao, you know yeah. like, Really taste the cake you know, one unique thing about this as compared to the Singapore one is that it just peels off easily. I mean, I think this is the I good thing about being uh. fresh. But it has a lot of meat actually. Yeah. Yeah. Today morning, you ate it? Oh, mm. afternoon. It's collected this afternoon. So it's like now, like three hours ago. Two hours ago. Yeah. This is like right fresh off the tree. Wow. It's more bitter than sweet, but I like it this way. Right. Very creamy. Really happy with it. Oh, someone you the best. Like, I'm, I came here one thing to surprise myself, like you know, tell myself that there's actually this hidden gem that I don't know. But this is a nice 
durian I've tried and really Masha Wang is still my favourite. Appearance wise, right, I would say Masha Wang looks so much, much better. Yeah, looks so glorious mm. and bright, like you know, like a sun shining on it. That is just like any other one. I can see why he'll say this is better than Masha Wang. It's very rich. I do agree that it's very, very rich. But then I feel that it's not as strong as Mao Shan Wang. I guess if you are someone that likes like very flavor packed durian, like mm. very intense, Mao Shan Wang will be for you. But for me, I feel Mao Shan might be a bit overwhelming sometimes. Mm. So this strikes a very nice balance. It has like the bitterness, the sweetness, mm. the fragrance, everything. It hits a nice tone, you know. So out of all these 10 durian that we tried, Tekka is actually the most expensive durian because it's a very sensitive durian and it's not all the time that you can get this durian. So I think we are pretty lucky to have this durian right now. This one is typically larger than a Mao Shang Wang. Kai Jie said that it can go all the way out to 5kg. So we just tried 10 different species of durian. What are your favourites? Honestly, my favourite would be the Mao Shang Wang or the Golden Phoenix because I feel like these two are more towards like my liking. Both of the durian itself, right, it's very neutral. It's not very bitter or very sweet, which I would prefer more in a durian. For me, I think the two most memorable would be Mao Shang Wang definitely and the Takak. Both are bitter and sweet the way I like it, but they just vary in terms of intensity. The milk butter definitely took me by surprise too because I'm not someone who likes very sweet durians, but this was pleasantly sweet with a nice texture to it. This tree definitely stood out to me today. So for overall experience, other than a super super bumpy ride into the forest, I always knew that growing durian was hard work, but I never knew it was so much, you know, like the environment is not pleasant for people to work in. There were so many mosquitoes, and there was the heat, the humidity, how the durians are very prone to dropping. Like we saw so many of them on the floor. Right. And uh, the idea was just saying that in his uh, years working here, he has already been struck by a durian like three times. And aside from that, eating fresh here definitely has a difference. So I would actually recommend people to actually come all the way to eat it fresh on the spot here. Honestly, it's very convenient to come here just about two hours car, right? right? While the tour into the farm is exclusive because of the roads, it's very hard to get people in. But when you get here, you can sit here and they will bring a durian right from the farm. Thank you for watching another episode of ebook Vlogs. For more, you can click over here. Mm -hmm. Also remember to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye.